Let's put the 109 million uh, yeah. in perspective. We know that you know when it comes to numbers, it's always deceiving just to just to look at one particular uh, number. What does it actually represent? They, because we just apply in the manda, the assumed yeah. uh, growth rate in the in the population, right? Yeah. Uh, but but what does it actually tell us that number? Well, the the big factor there is the the base population. Mm -hmm. Now, in the 60s, we had a population of 34 million with a growth rate of 3%. So that meant we were adding about uh, maybe 300,000 mm -hmm. every year to the population. Today, with a base population of 108, 107 million, 1.7%, which is our current growth rate, means almost 2 million mm -hmm. are being added to our population mm -hmm. every year. Mm -hmm. And we compare that with, uh, for example, Thailand. Uh, they add only 200,000 to their population every year. What does that translate to in terms of in percentage, in terms of the growth rate? Well, uh, for, for us, it's 1.7. Ah, for Thailand, Thailand uh, because their population is roughly 60, 60 million, uh, uh. that's about 1%, uh, hmm. I believe. Hmm. And uh, Korea also has a growth, uh, adds about 200,000, and they have a smaller population than, mm. than uh, Thailand. They have around 54 million. Mm. Uh, you know, in the 1960, about 69, all three countries were aligned in terms of population. Uh, Thailand had a larger population of, than the Philippines. We had around 34 million, Thailand 35, Korea was 31. Here we are now in 2019. Mm. Uh, Korea has doubled. Mm. Uh, Thailand has uh, a little less than double, least less than, and we have tripled. Mm. So that uh, has an impact on the resources we need to put mm. on the ground, in terms particularly of health, education, social services, mm. and actually there are also um, impacts on household income. Mm. Uh, it has been shown that uh, an additional uh, child that's added to the family it's into the savings of, uh, of the couple, of the parents. Mm. Up to one third of the savings get eaten up mm. when you add another child. Mm. So uh, parents need to have the uh, ability to choose when mm. they will have uh, children. And what we have uh, uh, seen is that uh, survey after survey shows that three out of every 10 uh, pregnancies in this country are unplanned. Mm. So about 30% of uh, births and uh, uh, of the 2 million, you can easily say about 600,000 of them uh, that we are adding, we're not really planned by the, yeah. the families, by the households. Within, within Southeast Asia, can you compare the growth in the Philippines? I mean, you mentioned Thailand already. Yeah. For the rest of, uh, like, like say Indonesia or Malaysia. Yeah. Singapore, of course, it's I think uh, below, <laughs> below, below, below one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right now we are, in terms of growth rate, we are number one oh. in within ASEAN. South Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Within ASEAN, that's where we okay. were measuring ourselves now. Mm. We are number one in terms of growth rate. Mm. In terms of uh, fertility, uh, we are 2.7, at 2.7 we're mm -hmm. number one. Sorry, with regard to growth rate, we are number three behind uh, Myanmar and Cambodia. Oh. Mm. Okay. So we're really at the top when it comes to, yeah. but to the, these statistics. Oh, but uh, but uh, the 1.7% uh, mm -hmm. uh, rate is already an improvement, right? I mean, yeah. I, mean I remember, you know, uh, uh, a decade ago or I mean, two decades ago, we were talking about much high, a much higher growth rate. What does the 1.7 also, what's the complete context for the 1.7%? Well, what's happened is that Basically, Filipino women are choosing to have a uh, fewer number of children. Mm. Okay. And uh, that's uh, probably a consequence of development as well. Yeah. And uh, they're choosing and they're having greater access. Yes, they have greater access to, for example, to health services. Mm. In the past, uh, uh, the child death rate was so high that one would expect that one in every five children would die. Mm. So uh, parents were you know, conscious of... Uh, uh, having more children to uh, make sure that they would not be victim to health issues mm. or uh, people were working more on uh, agriculture and mm. they would need more hands. Mm. Uh, we, we still see the effect of that in school. No? Boys are 
more likely to drop out of school, mm. uh, even in the in the K to 12 period, because mm. they're pulled to work by their families. Mm. So you, it's really an atti attitude problem, huh? Partly that.